In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to develop an app using Storyboard Designer by starting with a Photoshop file. Here we are in Photoshop. Um, I've finished my design and we're going to import this into Storyboard in this video and then connect all the screens so we can see what we're working with. This is a thermostat view. We're just going to adjust the temperature there. On another screen uh, will be our weather layers. And I've got two different uh, modes, our five day forecast, which we can look at, and then we can toggle to a different mode and see what the current weather conditions are. So that's the thermostat and the weather. Then we've got uh, another mode. We've got some toggles here to turn the fan on and off, air conditioning on and off. Then we'll set up a countdown timer on this air filter change. So by month and days, how many you have left before you should switch your air filter. And then our settings screens. Here we can set a different type of background image, go to Celsius from Fahrenheit, and Storyboard supports internationalization, so we'll uh, set up a couple different languages as well. So also, all of these screens are going to be tied together on this layer for main navigations. So you're going to hit a certain icon and you're going to go to the particular screen that you want. But right now we'll go to our current view for how we want it to look when we import it which is our home screen. So in Storyboard, I'm going to right click in my empty workspace to bring in our first project. And so under Import, under Storyboard Development, I want Photoshop PSD file. And when I hit Next, I need to browse to the particular file that we were just looking at. So that's this one here, crank dos heap 3 and I'll hit Open. So I'm going to click Import PSD Text Layers as Storyboard Text Render Extensions. and the project name is picked up off of the Photoshop file. You can change that if you want to. When you're ready, just hit finish and that's going to create a new project in your workspace. So Storyboard reads through your Photoshop file, brings in all of the content. Um, here are all the images in my image view. Uh, over on the left here, um, here is the project folder. Um, that's the structure, an image folder, a font folder. And this is the screen, uh, Crank Dossi, it got that name from the Photoshop file with the three layers that we had visible when we imported the project. And if I go to my layers view here, I can see that I've got my other layers. They are in the project even though we don't see them. You can get a full view if you go to the Edit All Layers button here. You just click that. Um, it's going to give you a, a full view of each of the group folders that I named in Photoshop with underscore layer. They're now all storyboard layers. So got my settings screen and we hit the wireframe view here it'll just show you each individual control um, how it's put together you might have some images that are merged together so you can kind of see what are the touch zones uh, in this mode and any changes that you make in here um, just get applied to your project uh, when you close this view so I've already got one screen that's been brought in and now I'm ready to set up the remaining screens in my project but first I'm going to rename this uh, to my home screen since that's uh, the start screen that I'll have. So home underscore SC. Now I'll add the remaining screens. So I'm going to click on an icon. I'm going to go to a new screen. So to do that, I'm just going to right click, add new screen. I'm going to call this settings underscore SC. And if I get a preview of what layer I want to bring in, uh, my background layer, wood underscore metal, I'll take settings underscore layer and main nav because I need that to go to other screens. Hit OK. So that brought in my settings screen, three layers, they're all there. And let's do that again. Right click, add new screen. Uh, this time I'll bring in the filter screen. So if I select filter, uh, select my main navigation screen and the background, the wood metal screen. OK. Then I'm going to bring in the fan screen. So that's at the top. Fan, um, the main screen, and the wood metal layer. So you just put in the name for the screen at the top, hit OK, and that's been added. And you can see they're coming in alphabetically H, F, A, F, I, S. So we'll just add the last one, weather. So add screen. Uh, weather underscore SC and I've got my background layer and then I've got my three weather layers my main weather and then the current forecast and the five-day forecast um, along with the main navigation of course so I bring that in and now I've got five screens on my weather screen I've got multiple layers turned on I just going to turn off the five-day forecast view. We'll leave that the default weather screen and you can reorder layers if you just grab them and drag them up and down in the application model. I want the main nav 
lower down and um, I'll put this one at the top. And on my settings screen, I'm also going to take that main nav and just drop it so that it's beside the background layer. That's better. And now let's start adding some actions to these icons so I can switch from one screen to another. Uh, this is a good opportunity to work in your uh, layer editing mode. So uh, every time I hit one of those icons, I'll go to a different screen. So let me just go to my main nav layer here and I'll start working with the icons. So on this, you can see I've got some actions that are already in there, but I want to add a new one. So on press, next, I need to select an action type. So out of my list of actions, I want screen fade. And then I need to choose what screen that I'm going to. So this is going to go to the home screen uh, for half a second at 30 frames per second. And I'll hit finish. And now let's just set up the screen changes for the other icons here. So on press, screen fade to weather. Okay. And for fan, I'll add an action on press to have a screen fade that goes to the fan screen. And I'll just set up the last two here. Add an action for a press event, uh, carry out a screen fade to the filter screen, and the last one to switch over to the settings screen. So on press, screen fade, I'll look for settings. Oops, the wrong one there. Uh, settings screen, and then hit finish. So. Uh, now you can see this little asterisk means that I've made changes in the layer editing mode. Um, it's added those screen fades and it's going to ask me if I want to save these changes. Yes, it'll close that view and those changes will be brought into the project. Um, they're still there, those screen fades on each of those icons that are being used on the different, uh, different screens. So what we should do now is just save the project, um, go file, save, it's already saved and then I'll simulate the project and we'll take a look at how it goes. So weather screen, good. We'll go back to the start screen, fades back. And here's our fan screen, that looks good. And move over to our air filter screen and the settings screen. Great, so our actions for screen changes have worked. And in our next video, we're going to work on the weather screen and run a couple animations when we switch from the current weather to the five-day forecast or the other way around. To review what we've learned, we've seen how to import a Photoshop file into Storyboard to create a new project, add multiple screens to a project using existing layers, shown how to work in the layer editing mode, add actions to controls to trigger events like screen transitions, and launch an app in the simulator. Now when you simulate, you can quickly visualize your project as it continues to develop.